on Trumot Periktet Mishnah Bab 6, Mishnah and the, t- the ninth chapter of Trumot. We have learned that if I planned Truma and I did it and I left it for after it grew a shlish or if I did it on purpose, then what we learned before in Mishnah Aleph was that Gidulei to Truma are Truma. Okay? Then it's Yikayem, you have to leave it, and the Gidulei Truma are like Truma. That's what we learned. So now our mission talks about what if I don't have to talk about Truma, what if I don't plant Truma, but I plant Tevel. Remember, Tevel is produce that I produce that I didn't take off Trumot and Masro. So the halacha is that I'm allowed to eat Tevel before I bring it into my Chatzer. I can eat it Ba'achilat Arai, temporarily. If I'm out in the field and I have an orange, I can eat it. Okay? But what happens if I took that Tevel and then I planted it with that before I took off Trumot and Masro? Because normally you take off Trumot and Masro, give the Kohen, give the Levi, and then, I, and then I can do whatever I want. I can eat it or plant it. But here I didn't do that. I didn't take off Trumot and Masro. But then I planted the tevel itself. Says the Mishnah, tevel, gidulav mutarim. Okay? I, I can treat the gidulav, that which grew from it, bedavar shezarokale. That's only with something with where the, the, uh, the, the seed is disintegrates. We've seen that the term before. Aval, davar sheino zarokale. But if, if I plant tevel and it's zara, and it's davar shein zarokale, the, the seed, the planting does, is not disintegrated, but it becomes part of the, of the plant itself. Gidule gidulim asurim. Okay, then even the growth thing that grows from the thing that grows from it, even, you know, generations afterwards, are asurim, i.e., you have, you can't treat them like new tevel that I can eat achilat arai, but rather I treat them like old tevel. Once I plant it, then it becomes like old tevel, and I'm not allowed to eat it achilat arai, but rather I have to take off trumot and ma'asot. Says the Mishnah, what is something that whose seed is not consumed, who, whose, whose seed becomes part of the next fruit? Kagon, for example, luf. We'll see what luf is in a second. Shum, garlic, rahab, salim. Salim are onions. What's luf? We look at the jastrel. I see a luf here. Let me move myself out of the way. Luf, a plant similar to lucolocasia, with edible leaves and roots and bearing beans. Uh, it is classified with onions and garlic. So luf is luf. If you have a luf plant, let me know. Okay, so therefore the Mishnah says, the luf and garlic and onions are davar shazaro eno kale. So if you plant tevel onions, then gidulav are considered the original tevel and you cannot eat them achilat arai. Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah says, hashum kisorim. Shum, garlic, are like seorim. Seorim, i.e. that they're like barley. Barley is davar shazaro kale. That's what the Bartinum says. Koloma, hashum chashum, zaro kale, kamo seora. Just like barley is a rokale, so too shum is as well. And the garlic plant that grows from it is now considered like original tevel, and you can eat it be'achilat arai. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Kalman. And as always, if you have comments or questions, email me at rspolter at gmail.com.